attributes that can build the vision. You believe that? If a CEO goes to have two days with his directors or alone with God, imagine what happens when he returns. By January, February, that person would have surpassed ordinary standards. Now, let me tell you the truth. This is the reason why most Africans do not thrive. Because we do not believe in this. Without trying to, you know, create any bias of regional biases, one of the things that you learn from the West is that they, they maximize moments like this. They take the time, they can travel somewhere to one village that nobody knows and you will see someone who is a multi-millionaire in a village somewhere, just book an Airbnb and sit down there asking serious questions. These are the kind of people that Jesus said they are not far from, you know, the kingdom. Because they are practicing, all that is left is for them to be born again. But as far as pro-kingdom principles are concerned, they are working in it. Let me challenge you for some of you. You have never had a retreat. Don't be too busy for a retreat. It's an attack. There are things God has wanted to tell you. He's been wanting to tell you for a long time. But maybe your being a worker, your being diligent as a worker will even distract you. The vicissitudes of life. Now in that silence, he can come to you and say, since March, I've been wanting to point something to you. But you are too busy to hear. Now thank God you have given me time. And one direction from him. That leads me to the third. What do you do in a retreat? Number three. Planning and resolutions for the next season. I hope, you, I hope I've not lost you. We're talking about retreats now. Go for an end of year, a personal retreat. What do you do in a retreat? Thanksgiving. What do you do in a retreat? An honest appraisal of the year. You appraise yourself. What do you do in a retreat? Planning and resolutions for the next season. Now you begin to plan. How much do I earn? How can I plan better? How, how do I need to, you know, work my spiritual life? I started this year as, you know, an ordinary staff. Now I've occupied a managerial position. I have to design a new spiritual formula for my remaining spiritually vibrant. This is where planning comes. You plan. What do you do in a retreat? You obtain the doing grace. There is a grace called the doing or the enabling grace. It says, now that ye know these things, happy are you if you do them. It's not enough to just plan. Most of you have your books full of things you plan to do this year. Some of you did not do even one. Don't end a retreat just by proper beautiful planning. No. Many are the devices in a man's heart. The Bible says, however, the counsel of the Lord alone, that shall stand. And when God gives you counsel, he also gives you the doing grace. The doing grace. When we started this year, there are many things that God gave us an instruction that we, do, we did not know as, as yet how they would be done. But glory be to God. Listening to him and obtaining that doing grace granted us the opportunity to do very great things for God this year. Let me recap again that a retreat is a time that is set about apart to be with the Lord. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of refreshing. It's a time to get direction for your life. It's also a time of empowerment. You are empowered by the Spirit. Fresh anointing, fresh grace. You're a man of God, for instance, and you go for a retreat. You'll be surprised what happens there. You spend the two, three days, one week with the Lord. You come out like the eagle, ready for next year. Ready with great fire, ready with great grace. Hallelujah. Is it, it is at times like this that we receive prophetic words that direct the body of Christ towards the next season. You don't just sit down and guess what the prophetic word is. Um, which one have we used before? Okay, we have used a, a shining year. If we now say the year that um, what looks like what people would like, you are playing games. You will not see any performance because God is not a joker. It's in the secret place. As you are stretching, praying, his voice comes. This is what I want to do to the people. And you receive it for yourself. Then you announce it. In Koinonia, 31st December, 6 p.m. West African time on the dot. All through our social media platforms. 
the prophetic word for the next year is released and that's what guides us we walk based on times and seasons and there are people who don't believe in prophetic words for the year there's nothing wrong you know it's just their revelation how god has given them but as a ministry and as a global family god has so chosen by his wisdom to guide us giving us prophetic words for the year that become a compass because we walk in this world based on the law of times and seasons and god is not doing everything all the time are we together so go for a retreat say i receive grace one more time say i receive grace to go for a retreat let me plead with friends and families and spouses commit yourself to helping one another have that retreat don't just say a spouse wants to go for a retreat. You start shouting, the Bible says what God has joined. Mm -mm. Explain, discuss, and say, and you as a spouse, don't just leave and nobody knows you have gone. They think you are missing. And then after one week, you say, ah, should I not be about my father's business? That was Jesus, not Mary, and not Joseph. Hallelujah. When you are going for a retreat, we live and eat in evil times. Let your loved ones know where you are going so that they know you are safe they know the difference between a kidnap and a retreat don't put people under stress because you are alone with god because there are people who will hear messages like this and say my own starts from this night they won't go back home now and their loved ones will be looking for them for a long time church people are very interesting people it's good to obey instructions but wisdom is profitable to direct shout a loud amen so when you have people around your life don't ignore them let them know okay i'll be going for a retreat from this day to that day this is where i'll be by god's grace if you call me and i don't pick don't don't worry i'm safe i'm fine i'll be spending this time with the lord hallelujah are we together go for a retreat oh in the name of jesus please go for a retreat i'm challenging you this, this is, a, is a secret that has helped some of us. I don't know how my life would have been today without retreats. Give God time and you will hear him in a way that will surprise you. Give God time and he will give you direction. One direction that comes from that secret place will redefine the next 10 years of your life. Carry all your pain, carry all your confusion, carry all your burdens, carry everything to him. Cry before him and let him give you direction. Let him give you help. Are you ready for number five? The fifth prophetic instruction. Share the love of Jesus with everyone around you. Share the love of Jesus 